How y'all doing, baby? It is Friday, baby. We made it through the week. Friday, so you know what that means. That means Beer and Bud Friday. And I am going to be drinking a Save the World beer, baby. Save the World beer sent to me by Jorge Tirebiter from the Scenic Tirebiter Ranch up near Burnett, Texas. Conveniently located five miles out of town at the end of a dirt road. And as Jorge reminds us, Republicans only send you thoughts and prayers. They're my friends, baby. They send me beer. Hey, and I appreciate it. That's good beer. I've been saving one over there, and Jorge sent me another one I could drink. I appreciate that, bub. Mmm. It's got a nice creamy flavor to it. Anyway, y'all know what the rest of that is. You should already have that bud in the bowl. And you should already be sparking that booger up and get ready to relax for the weekend. I didn't get no mail today, so uh, we're going to jump right into it, baby. Uh, what's going on? Well, the biggest thing in the news, the biggest thing in the news right now is Alabama, baby. That's the biggest thing in the news right now. It just keeps being the bee pop up everywhere. Uh, Donnie's big Sharpie. It's paid there on the weather map there telling you the storm's going to... While we have a storm out there, battering North Carolina out there on the Outer Banks is really getting hit hard out there. It's just moving off, I understand, but there's people out there having to be rescued and everything. We got the Bahamas out here where they're expecting hundreds, they say maybe up to a thousand or more deaths in that area. It is going to be heartbreaking to hear that news and the devastation that hit the Bahamas. But the number one story in our, our president's mind is, hey, he's got to be right on the Alabama thing. He's got to. He's, he's calling out his Homeland Security acting director to come out and say, yeah, look here, Donnie, uh, Donnie was right, you know, and it's just a, it's a pitiful display of a desperate man trying to hold on to, to what I don't know. It's not the truth. It's nothing. It, it, it's his, his bravado of, of, of just denying that he is ever wrong, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, stable genius that he is, he knows more about everything than anything, anybody, all that kind of crap. Well, if he admits he's wrong on one thing, that, that might mean the minions might think he's wrong on other things. And how could he have that shit happen? Yeah, how could he? But, uh, yep, I see no Shepard Smith, even on Fox News, baby. Even on Fox News is calling him out for his bullshit about the Alabama thing and to let it go. Go on with your business. You're the president. You got shit to do, we thought. That's what you told us. Oh, I won't have time for anything. I'll be doing the people's business. Seems to me all you got time for is playing golf and watching TV, Fox and Friends in the morning, getting a little pecker heart on, watching that little girl on TV, I guess. I don't know what you do. Got a bucket of chicken stuffed in your mouth for all I know. Anyway... That's what the big thing, but I am I, I am glad to see. You know, he's been calling Fox out here lately for, uh, oh, they're not with us and all that. We can find another station or something. If not, they'll make one up. And uh, on a side note, I just chuckle about internally. I've seen where Sebastian Gorka's is now selling over-the-counter pain medication. Ah, from White House aid to what? Washed up wannabe trying to do something out there? They've been making fun on him on the Internet. Anyway, with all the shit that's going on, I read a story in the New York Times from Michelle Goldberg, and the title was, Dare We Dream of the End of the GOP? Should we consider? Can we think about that? Is the GOP uh, self, self-destructing? Hell yes, they are. We say it on this show all the time, and all hell, the talking heads on TV, everybody's talking about it. That's what Donnie would say. People are saying, people are saying that the Republican Party has doomed itself for being liars, cheats, thieves, just con men out to destroy this nation just so long as they get another term or they get some more money in their pockets. That's the kind of shit that the Republican Party has turned into. Liars, cheats, thieves, do whatever. Back up the man even when you know he's wrong. When he's blatantly being an idiot, you got to stand out there and make excuses for his ass. That's a hell of a price to pay. Your integrity for his ignorance? That wouldn't work in my house, baby. I ain't sticking up for no dumbass. 
just makes you look bad. But yeah, you know, the Republican Party's got to face the fact they're not too happy right now with Donnie because Donnie's taking over three point, what, six or eight billion dollars, billion dollars out of the military construction fund to build his little statue to his, his, his ignorance, his wall down there that he promised Mexico was going to pay for, baby. You remember that shit? Mexico will pay for the... Yeah, yeah, he said a lot of shit. Well, let me tell you something, baby. These congressmen and senators, they're not too happy. They're not too happy in Alaska, damn it. They're losing a whole lot of money. I'm not going to read the programs off because this list, when I looked at it, is a whole lot longer than I thought. And I thought, well, I'll call out some of the things. In Alaska, they're not going to get the El Elgin Air, Air Force Repair Central Heating Power Plant Boiler. Uh-uh, ain't going to get it. Sorry about that. Freeze your ass off. Light a fire out there in the campfire. Keep the shit warm. We don't care. Several projects in Alaska. Arizona, Fort Huachuca. I never even heard about it. They're not even going to get their $30 million for transport engineering. California is going to take a hit. Colorado, Florida, Hawaii, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Kentucky. Fort Campbell, baby, ain't getting your shit. Oh, bitch. What's the matter, babe? Couldn't get your shit? Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Oregon, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington, and Wisconsin. All of those states have some pretty major products, and every one of them I'm looking down here, every one of these projects are in the millions. Every one of those states I just mentioned had, had, had military contracts, big construction projects for schools, for hospitals, for all sorts of shit, for repair facilities, for training facilities. Guess what, baby? All down the tubes because Donnie, Donnie needs some more money, but it didn't stop there. Not just here, baby, because it, it, it goes everywhere. It goes outside the country in the U.S. territories. Guam, baby, Guam's going to get hit with shit. There's a whole list of things here. Uh, Earth-covered magazines, you know, protect the ammunition. Uh, roads, water well, uh, tie hardening, gun range, munition storage, all sorts of shit. Not going to get it. Find some other way to hide your ammo. Here's the big one, baby. And you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. There is going to be, besides other country, Virgin Islands, the Bahrain Island, Belgium, Bulgaria, Cuba, Estonia, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Japan, all these places, baby, that had big projects going on. But guess who got hit hard? Guess who got hit hard, baby? Puerto Rico, baby, that's right. He just about stripped every dime out of any military construction in Puerto Rico. And yes, we have a base down there. And yes, we need a lot of reconstruction down there. But screw Puerto Rico. Donnie needs his wall. So that's the kind of shit, that's the kind of crap that the Republican Party has to keep dealing with. This thief in our house that keeps stealing from the government, baby. Congress has the purse key, baby. Congress is the one that uh, appropriates the money. Says where the money's going to be spent. But remember, Donnie declared a natu national emergency over his fake-ass wall that he wants. That Mexico's going to pay for it, baby. Any day now, Mexico's going to send a check. Lying, disgusting thieves, baby. So now these congressmen from all these states, these senators, they got to go back to their constituents. They got to tell them, hey, I'm sorry you got this big contract here to build this hangar over here, but sorry, we got to go lay some brick down on the border. He's willing to throw this country. That, that, don't come tell us next year how much more of an increase the defense budget needs because this pecker will just go in and steal it again. It's a, it's a sham. They're padding the ticket, baby, so they can get more. So they can steal more. This country needs to wake up, baby. We could take a whole lot of that defense contractor money and put it into infrastructure, which a lot of these projects are infrastructure. Things that would help our country. Things that would help our soldiers and sailors and airmen at the places they have to survive in. But no. Screw the troops. Isn't that the new Republican talking boss? Screw the troops. They don't need no shit. Donnie needs a wall. We'll just take all your money. 
It's disgusting. And the senators and congressmen in these states, including mine, need to take his ass to task, baby. Because if not, you're just jumping into his boat, baby. You're just jumping into a sinking piece of shit barge. And that's dropping to the bottom of the ocean. How come you think all these congressmen and stuff are going to run again? 13 of them? Hell, today's a new day. Might be 14. It's going to be a whole lot more before the end, before 2020 rolls around. There's going to be more Republicans jumping ship. That's what the story's about, baby. Can we see the end of the Republican Party? If they keep going the way they are, hell yes, there won't be anything left of it. It will turn into a monthly Klan meeting. That's it. White supremacist, neo-Nazi bullshit. That's what the Republican core has become under people like Stephen Miller. And when he was in there, O'Gorka, you know, just, just, just red meat throwing, scum sucking con man, baby, fascists. You know, Stephen Miller... Mattis got, General Mattis, one of the reasons he resigned, he got into conflict with Stephen Miller over immigration. Not illegal immigration, legal immigration, which this president and his administration, meaning Stephen Miller, who pulls Donnie's cork string, I guess, or something, has reduced the amount of legal immigration into this country by 70%. And you know where it's getting hard, hit hard a lot? Yeah, it's coming from all those, uh, you know, questionable countries, Iraq, Syria, those places, Afghanistan. Unfortunately, it's hitting those people in those countries that worked for us, interpreters, people that work for the embassy, people in those countries who put their life on the line, taking a chance, working for the United States in an area for just doing that can get your ass killed. But hey. We don't need you because, you know, you're brown, you're Arabic, you're, 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 you're something other than Scandinavian. And they don't want your ass. They don't care how much you sacrifice and give up for this country. We've got a president that sets the pace, baby. He didn't give up anything for this country. Never gave this country squat. Not in taxes, not in service, not in loyalty. He's a money whore, and he'll sell this country for anybody who's got the two bits to stick into his fat belly. Him and his disgusting little family, little Ibank, is on a trip down to South America, baby, getting all sorts of pictures with the, the president of Colombia and, and the president of, uh, of Venezuela, all this shit. So, so, so she's the only one that has a shot at a political career there. You know, Donnie Jr., he'd be a laughing stock. And Eric, he doesn't know how to get the bubble gum off the bottom of his shoe. And Tiffany, well, you know, she's a little heavy set for Donnie. Doesn't like to claim her. That's who we have, baby. And if Ivanka is what the Republican Party is priming to become a, 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 a what? A congressman, a senator? Are you shitting me? That's how low they're willing to scrape the barrel, baby. But the Republicans aren't giving up, baby. They're already canceling a whole lot of primaries. Nobody's going to primary Donnie. We love our president. We're going to keep him. And we don't care who's going to try to run for president. We're just not going to hold primary elections in states. It's up to each state. So every red state that, that wants to kiss Donnie's ass is not going to primary, baby. So they can ensure that Donnie stays on the ticket. Let them all go down with the ship is what I say, baby. Let them all sink with the turd they got around their neck. I don't really give a shit. They're all going to go, baby. They're all going to go. Twelve days in August that Donnie spent between the Bedminster Bribe and Collection Center golf course and the Potomac Falls Bribe Collection and, 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 uh, and golf course there in, in uh, D.C. In Virginia, I'm sorry. Yep. If it's not stealing money from our from our soldiers and sailors to put it for his for his imaginary prick down there that he calls a wall. It'll be from other areas, baby. It'll be padding his pockets through Bedminster or Doral. You know, it'll be a great place for the V twenty for the G seven meeting next year. Yeah, hey, yeah, bring that G twenty two. Hell, let's have every government meeting at a Trump property. That's the next thing, baby. You don't think the Trump International Hotel and Bribe Collection Center right there in Washington, D.C. ain't doing a booming business, baby? You bet your ass they are. You bet your ass they are. 
because they don't give a shit about this country and they don't give a shit how much they steal from it or how much they embarrass it with their lines on maps or their or their daughter's trips to some other country that makes her look stupid and makes us look stupid for allowing that shit. Anyway, it's Friday, baby, so enjoy your beer. Get your butt out. Enjoy that. I'm going to do the same thing right there. Well, if it was. I want you to enjoy the rest of your week. End weekend and uh, we'll be here live on on Sunday but I want to thank everybody all our patreon members and those that support us through through other means we appreciate it very much and it keeps us on the air baby it's paying the bills and we appreciate it very much biggest thing is it, it is every day we're seeing a bigger and bigger downfall of the Republican Party that should give you encouragement baby to keep the pressure on and keep your head held high you're on the right side of this fence baby we're the, one, we're the one holding up the integrity, the morals of this country. Not that disgusting side. They've given it up. I don't know for what. Go figure. But it's up to us, baby, and we got to keep the message going. And that's what this is and every other show that's on here. Everybody else is lending their voice to this, this, this fight. They're all doing the same thing, and that's trying to motivate you to keep yourself involved and informed. If you stay involved and informed, baby, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be a line, land, landslide, landslide against this sucker. And against the Republican Party, we have a chance to take the Senate, the House, keep the House, and take the White House, and take state houses all around this country. That's where it starts. So not only the national uh, election, pay attention to your state elections, your governor, your, your senators, your congressmen who are running. Pay close attention, baby, because those are the people that we need to put the pressure on to keep this thing going and to correct all the bullshit that that man has caused. It's going to take years to do that. We need the best people on the job. So like, share, subscribe. John Bridavo of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. John Bridavo on Facebook. John Bridavo Speaks, Blue Dot Family. They're having some trouble with the viewership over there, but I know they're growing strong and it's something with Facebook's doing, so I don't know what's up with that, but uh, go by there and join the family and get the conversation. On Twitter, at Blue Dot in Texas, out my truck window, and anywhere else we get the message going, baby. Keep it going and keep it strong. Make this blue wave rise up, baby, and we'll see you all later. Bye.